Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Blackbird from Jeff Copeland and Murphy's Magic. What is Blackbird? Uh, basically, it is a holdout. It's a utility device that allows you to magically just pull coins out of thin air. Sounds pretty cool. You wanna see the trailer? This is it. Building on classic principles of magic, the Blackbird reinvents the game on how coins come into play. No pockets, no ditches. The quickest and most undetectable way to get coins into your routine. It's a utility device that gives you complete freedom to introduce a coin into any routine exactly when you need it and only at the exact moment when you need it. from beginner to advanced. It's uh, a great way to get one ahead or even two ahead. And in Magic, let's face it, if you're one ahead of your audience, um, you win the game. If you're two ahead in the audience, well, then uh, you're gonna perform some real miracles. How do you produce a coin? The Blackbird. All right, so that was the Blackbird from Jeff Copeland and Murphy's Magic. A couple questions we always ask about all of our Magic reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, you're gonna get uh, the Blackbird device, okay? You're gonna get the gimmicks. Uh, there's a left and a right. There's one for each hand, and then you're gonna get the straps that hold those on your hand, and then you're also gonna get an all-access password to the online downloadable video, and the video is three hours, yes, three hours and seven minutes long. Is it what I thought? Uh, it's absolutely what I thought because they had incredible, very open, very honest marketing with this gimmick. Uh, so many times when you see something like this, they're really sneaky in the video, uh, and you know, not really telling you what it is. Or they're also like sneaky with their photographs and they won't even show you what's in the box. With the Blackbird, they come right out and show you exactly what it is and they tell you exactly what it does. So. Kudos to Murphy's, kudos to Jeff Copeland for being open and honest. It's exactly what I thought. If you watch the trailer, it'll be exactly what you think too. How are the angles? Uh, that's the great thing about Blackbird is everything is covered um, angle-wise by your clothing, okay? So this is only angle sensitive in the fact that you need specific clothing. This is not a clothing optional trick. You cannot perform this trick naked, okay? You, you need uh, the clothing specified uh, in this, but other than that, I think it's got killer angles. Can it be inspected? It, you know, if you do the trick right, there's really nothing to inspect. You're supposed to be making a coin appear, and then beyond that, of course, you can hand coins out to be examined. No, you can't go up against the wall and have somebody frisk you, okay? So, <laughs> but they shouldn't even be thinking that in their heads. There shouldn't be uh, even the option or the chance for them to want to inspect your arms. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Hey, like I said, this video is over three hours long. Uh, so you're getting tons and tons and tons of information. As far as quality goes, Murphy makes really great videos. So everything's well shot, well mic'd, great backgrounds, great lighting. Uh, Jeff Copeland's a good teacher. It gives you everything you need to know. If you wanna know what is taught on the video, so like what do you get in that three hours time span, uh, they're gonna teach you what to wear, uh, what type of clothing works the best, you're gonna get all of your care and maintenance tips, how to make your gimmick 
uh, quiet when you initially get it. There's a little bit of a snap noise to it. Um, how to make new armbands if your armbands wear out or, or how to make an armband that fits your forearm. I don't know if you've got big beefy arms like Popeye or how to make a different armband that kind of fits your way of doing things. Maybe you don't want to put these on your forearms. Maybe you want to put them someplace else. Um, uh, how to use the gimmick, of course, uh, and there's a really great thing Jeff Copeland does is he wears this transparent clothing, kind of wears these rain shirts so that you can see everything through the clothing. That was a great, great idea. Um, and I would just say, even though this unit is designed for silver dollars or silver dollar sized coins, there is a little adapter that comes with it that works for several other types of coins. And uh, Jeff is going to go through all of that. He's going to give you everything you need to know. All right, so what are the magic tricks taught on this? Uh, you're gonna get a trick called Ring Bling. Uh, you're gonna get a trick called Everyday Coins, uh, Van Gogh Go, the Merry Miser's Dream, Coin Affinity, and Trick or Trick. You're gonna get six routines in total. These six tricks almost encompass half of the video, uh, half of that three hours time. So you're getting tons of information about care and maintenance, and then another big, huge section on magic. Is the product well made? You know, thousands of hours were put into these gimmicks to make sure they would work just perfectly. And Jeff Copeland and Murphy's went through dozens of prototypes so that you could have the best of the best. How much practice does it require? Uh, it does require practice. This is not gonna be something, you know, if you think your mom's just gonna be able to buy this for you and you're gonna be able to make coins appear out of thin air, you're, you're lying to yourself. This is gonna take practice with you wearing them, where, uh, figuring out where they work the best, finding out what coins work the best for you, uh, what clothing works the best for you, and then making all of that come together seamlessly to look like magic. This, this is not a self-working thing, okay? Coins aren't just gonna start flying out of your hands. You will need to practice this, so I would definitely weigh, uh, if this is your persona, if this is what you, know, you think you wanna do and put the time in, of, of course there's a money expense as well, and so definitely consider the practice that's involved. How much setup and reset is there? There's pretty much only just the one time, okay? You, you're setting up the one time, and then from there you're good to go. Positives, all right, so what are the positives to Jeff Copeland's Blackbird? You know, I think as magicians, we always dream about these secret devices that will allow us to work wonders right underneath the spectator's nose. Uh, the Blackbird is your dream come true. This is a must have for any professional coin worker. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives to Blackbird? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, I've heard from some people that it's hard for them to find the clothing options that work, okay? Uh, take Jeff's advice, uh, look at what he's wearing and kind of mimic that. That's kind of what I did. Um, but you may have a little bit of issue trying to find some clothing that works for your persona and works with the Blackbird, so that's just a heads up. Is it worth your money? Uh, it's 60 bucks, all right? It is $60, so, and for what you're getting, the value of what you're getting and the usability of this in repeated different ways, I definitely think it's a value. You're definitely getting a good price. This is not a one-hit wonder. You could spend 60 bucks on a gimmick wallet and it only does one thing, right? Or a gimmick deck and it only does one thing. This will do lots of things for you, uh, but who would like this? I'm gonna put these two together. This is seriously, I think, in my opinion, for the working professional. This is not really priced at the hobbyist level magician, okay? You know, if, if you're not making money at magic, if this is not something that you wanna do for a living or that you aspire to do, there's simpler ways to produce coins, okay? And then I would suggest go out and buy Bobo's uh, book on coin magic. But if you do coin magic, if you make a living at this, if you do walk around, table hopping, restaurant, party, and coin magic, especially using, you know, the silver dollar, half dollar type size coins, if this is you, then I think this is definitely built for you. This was made for you. All right, so that is my review for Jeff Copeland's Blackbird from Murphy's Magic. As always, I wanna thank Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this trick so I can do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase your own, you can find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, bye.